Hello sports fans, Clump here with the long overdue mail day video. Today I've got a trade from my good friend Brandon Stebbins and a win from my good friend Brandon Stebbins. This video is taking a minute. First I was dealing with camera issues, then I pulled a bunch of muscles in my back. You know, the kind where it makes sitting the most painful thing on earth. So I'm finally feeling up to making a video again. I finally got around to it. Sorry Brandon, here we go. First, we did a trade. Brandon did his video quite some time ago. I'm sure most of you have seen it. And I got from Brandon on my end this sweet 87 Jeff Calhoun, Don Russ. I've never sent to Mr. Calhoun. I've never even looked to see if he, you know, I don't even know if he's signing now or what. I've never looked it up before so it's nice to have a Jeff Calhoun signature and then there's a sweet what 94 oh it's upside down yep oh, I need it. sweet 94 upper deck Craig Pocket they're on Brandon Stebbins Oakland days I have sent to Mr. Pocket but not that card and then the awesome Toby Hara on the 1987 tops. Toby Hara was a beast. Started out playing with the Senators. Played for many years there for Texas. Great signer. Another of Brandon Stebbins Oakland days. Mr. Storm Davis. Back in the beginning of my TTMing, I went. 0 for 3 with Storm Davis and Brandon Stebbins finally took pity on me and sent me one since then I have sent to him one time I've got a few another Storm Davis always liked watching him pitch when I was a kid he was a great pitcher during the height of my collecting as a youth <laughs> and then got this what year is this Yeah, so 93-94, Stadium Club, Mr. Walt Williams, playing for the Kings, signed in black sharpie up the side there, very nice. And then, what year is this one? This awesome 2006 Jeremy Bonderman on the Bowman, Jeremy Bonderman. Big fan of Jeremy Bonderman. I actually got to watch him pitch live at Comerica. It was very cool. Jeremy Bonderman was a strikeout pitcher. In his relatively short career, he amassed almost 1,000 strikeouts. Had to take some, he took some time off between 2010 and 2013. Had Tommy John surgery and then made a little comeback for a little while. He was originally drafted by Brandon Stebbins, Oakland Athletics, while they were headed up by manager Art Howe. Also this 2002 Tops, Art Howe. I just recently got Art Howe back, but it was nowhere near 2002. I've gotten Mr. Howe back on some Astros cards from the Junk Wax era, and then the 1981 Fleer for the set. This is my first 21st century art how my first Oakland A's art how and it is awesome thank you Brandon hooked it up awesome brother I'm working on another trade right now and even more recently than that Brandon had a giveaway <clears throat> he gave away some DVDs and a biography of Ian McClellan but I'm McClellan <laughs> and I won this DVD of the 1985 Bears season. The greatest team in football history. <clears throat> you can see all kinds of... Mike Ditka is a player. So let's relive the excitement of the most memorable team in sports history. The 1985 Chicago Bears, just days before the biggest game. In the football season, the championship team led by Walter Payton, Jim McMahon, 
William the Refrigerator Perry, which I'm waiting on a return from, and Coach Iron Mike Ditka dominated on and off the field. 85 greatest teams in football, History Channel Chronicles, their journey through the victory, and pop culture fame. Pop culture fame, they made that video for the rap song. It features interviews with football legends Mike Singletary, a beast, Dan Hampton, Phil Sims, Dan Marino, as well as famous Chicagoans from all walks of life, including President Obama, Bill Murray, Jesse Jackson, and the film, an unforgettable team that launched the iconic 80s music video and inspired the SNL sketch, Da Bears. And I find this interesting that President Barack Obama is considered a Chicagoan as I thought they finally decided that he was born in Hawaii. Now, why would you move from Kenya to Chicago? I mean, Hawaii to Chicago. Just, just something I found interesting. But there you go. I probably will watch it, and then I'm thinking about sending it out. But awesome win from an awesome YouTuber. Brandon's, Brandon, you the man, buddy. Thanks for all that you do. Keep up the great work. Thanks to all of you for watching. Best of luck on y'all's returns. See you again soon.